Hey dolls, I'm back again. This is your girl Makeup by Kathy and I just wanted to come in and share this look with you guys. It's a very purple smoky look and I'm wearing it during the day. Um, I know some of you don't like colorful looks and some of you do so I want to give every a little bit of everything uh, to my subscribers so this is a much more colorful look I've been doing a lot of neutral looks lately um since it's summer I know that you know nobody wants to rock like bright colors because or like heavy makeup I should say because it is you know summertime it's hella hot out there over 100 degrees here in the in Southern California where I live and um but I wanted to do something fun something colorful um I just got these earrings and so I was inspired to do a something colorful so when I, I went ahead and did a purple look as you guys can see very smoky but it's only two color two purple colors and the highlight and that's it you guys a little bit of a bronzer and a nude lip to go with it and I think it's just perfect um I do notice that the color is very bright in in the camera but it's pretty subtle um a subtle look i'm gonna take pictures and i'm gonna put them on instagram so if you guys don't follow me on instagram go ahead and check me out um makeup by kathy just search me like that if you don't have instagram get it guys it's addicting i love it so much um and um yeah enjoy the fun i have so many subscribers over there and some of my favorite gurus on uh, instagram as well so go ahead and go check it out and um i hope you guys enjoyed this look uh simple hair just simple simple simple, simple um little hair but i just wanted to share this look with you guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see how i created this um purple uh daytime look i mean it's daytime for me right it's provable for me i like it so um yeah i'm gonna be stepping out guys i hope you guys all have a wonderful day if you guys want to see how i created this fabulosity go ahead and check it out okay the tutorial is right about here right now bye guys okay guys it's me again so yeah this is um not a cute little sight here as you guys can see I, ha I broke out pretty badly I don't know why um I have bad breakouts on this side on this side as well and I don't know why it's just let's get over it okay <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start everything I've already moisturized my face um and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add um, my milk of magnesia you guys know that I live by this stuff this is actually for those that don't know um I have said it in, my, in a previous video um, what milk of magnesia does and basically I use it to retain um, let me hold on. I'm watching t videos tutorials on YouTube on my on my TV so I just paused it so you guys can hear me anywho um, this actually works to help you with um, oiliness throughout the day and milk of magnesia is like a wonder it will allow you and help you um, well, it will help your face from not going into that really, really um, oily, oily zone, um, which I am very oily. So that's why I would use it pretty much every time I use makeup. And it really does um, help with me not having to powder up during the day or, or whatnot. So that's why I really recommend it, you guys. The original brand. I love it. Um, anywho, so now I'm going to let that dry. And as that dries, I'm going to go ahead and add my ultra sheer sunblock and this is spf 55 so i'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and I, i'm gonna add this on and then we'll go continue with the next step okay guys so i would let i've let the um the sunblock go ahead and dry in my face now i'm gonna add my primers but before i do that i'm gonna use this garnier fruit fructis whatever <laughs> skin renew anti-eye puff roller and um lately i've noticed that i've been getting a lot of like under eye bags and um I can't really sleep right now. I don't know what's going on with me. My sleep, um, my sleeping habits, uh, my habits, my sleeping pattern isn't that great. I don't know why it's going on. But anyways, this helps to reduce the anti-puffness, the anti, why do I say anti-puffness? <laughs> Hello, Kathy, learn how to speak. Um, anywho, so this helps to, re to bring down the puffiness under your eyes. I've noticed it does work because it has caffeine in it, so that's why I do see some, you know, I do see it that it um, helps out with my eyes. Anyways, now I'm going to add two primers. I'm going to add the Revlon Beyond Natural Smoothing Primer, and I'm going, this one has silicone on it. Yeah, it does. And then I'm going to add this L'Oreal Studio Secrets. I'm going to mix up both of them together and add it on my, on my face to uh, prime my face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And obviously your face primer is to help uh, reduce the fine lines and wrinkles in your eyes. Well, it, um, the silicone goes into it and it um, 
helps for your you know foundation to come on smoothly and you don't have any problems with like the crevices or the um, pores to show up when your foundation is on so I really do like that uh, I put it a lot on my nose because this is where I have most of my pores um, pretty open or pretty wide I suffer from big pores I guess that's why I have a lot of pimples so I don't know um, but yeah I'm trying to figure out what made me break out because I haven't changed my routine or anything like that just um, I haven't I know I haven't done anything different so I don't know why I've been breaking out anywho but we're gonna cover these suckers cuz I'm cute anywho okay guys so um, I've added my my primers let that sit in and I'm just gonna do something very light with my face today I'm not gonna go too over over the board overboard with um with my thing so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add this has been a trick that I learned and I actually actually really do like it is to add primer under your eyes I have noticed that my my concealer has lasted much more longer and I want to shout out Miss Creative Diva she you guys if you guys do not know who she is I will link her description information down below on the description box so you guys can go check her out she is one fierce diva okay and I learned this trick from her um, and since I've tried it, I have noticed a vast improvement on my concealer. My concealer lasts longer. Because usually, um, since I am oily skin, I mean, um, and I'm talking about like into like the day, like way into the day, my concealer will crease um, after like an eight hour wear. And um, with this thing, it does not. I will come home, I'll probably if I have my makeup on the whole day, it, I don't see the creases. And that is amazing because I love that. So I learned that trick and I'm in love with it. So the um, primer that I'm using is this e.l.f. eyelid primer. But I, of course I use it under my eye. And I will be using this primer on my eyeshadow for my eyeshadow as well. Okay, so now I'm going to add foundation. And the foundation that I'm going to use today is the Studio it's the Cinema Secrets Ultimate Foundation. The shade that I'm wearing is not on the thing. So I don't know. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add this all over my face. I'm just going to put it on my major problem areas like right there and right there oh I hate breaking out guys it's just like I hate it okay so I'm gonna add that all over my face as you can see I know it probably looks lighter than my natural skin tone yeah it does <laughs> but trust me this will um, come together and I'm gonna add a little bit of this Revlon color stay in toast so it can you know come together the colors can blend and give me a more natural skin look you know skin type look so I'm gonna add that all over my face like this and I'm gonna blend this with a brush and I will be right back okay guys so I went ahead and added my foundation my concealer and my powder sorry for not recording that part um, but I'll just tell you guys what I did I actually didn't use a brush to put on my foundation I just used my fingers I um, you know went ahead and added that all over um, my face and then I got my concealer which is the MAC um, NC35 uh, studio studio finish concealer and, and I used that under the eyes a little bit to cover this fucker right here but you guys know what look at how it looks I don't know if you guys can see it but it looks dark after I put on concealer and I hate it I don't even know what to do to cover this thing up it just annoys me so much um anywho so I did that and um I set it with this powder which is the rice powder from Palladio the color or the shade I should say that I use is warm beige and I use that with this type of sponge um, just all over my face like this and um, yeah that's where I'm at right now now I'm gonna go ahead and add my um, eye my eyebrows and um, I am going to be doing a video um, related to just my eyebrows how do I do how I do my own eyebrows this version that I'm gonna do right now is my easy version I'm not gonna do like the version that I do when I do my like tutorials because um, I'm, I need to get out the door in the next half hour so it's not gonna it I when I do my eyebrows the way I do them in my other videos I take my time with them so that's just basically what I'm trying to say right now but um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and really fast I'm gonna use this brow quad here and I got this um this brow quad here and I'm gonna um just put on my eyebrows really really fast because this is the fast version this is the get out the dough this is the get out the dough brows <laughs> So this, I'm just using this br this brush, you guys. This brush, I, I think I've had it for over eight years. I kid you not. This is from Benefit. I think I got it at Benefit a long time ago, and um, 
it still works really well I really do like it I wear it I use it for my brows only this is this um this this brush is just for my brows so right now what I'm doing is adding just a little bit of every color um, to my brows and then I just the angle side I just bring it to the like lay like lay down I don't know if that makes sense but I go like this like this and um, just this gives helps me gives me the shape that I want so I only use it as you can see I only use it to the arch of the brow and then I grab my angled brush which is much more defined this one much more defined angle and um, I grab the um, I grab more of the color and then I do my angle my angle my arch with it just like this and again this is a super easy fast way of me doing my brows because again I don't really do them fancy schmancy when I'm out trying to get out the door so this is it I'm just angling the I'm just angling the brush and making that you know the tail of my brow and then I just fill it in here and what I do now is I grab um, a brow, a brow pencil, and this is not really generally for my brows, this is just a brown liner, and I'm going to fill in a little more, like the wing, make it more defined, and um, just bring the arch in so they don't look that thick, that thin, sorry. And I just, you know, fill in in areas where I need, where I feel like I need to. And just lightly and then I'll grab the brush again and then just put more pressure on it and then wing it put the tail a little longer as well I just this is just a quick method for me and on this side I hardly have any brows so I just I put more emphasis on this one cuz it just I don't know it just doesn't work for me that well all right so just doing this and then obviously the powder sets the liner so the pencil liner so this is what I'm doing now just setting everything and I'm not gonna do the under eye concealer stuff right now because like I said these are my easy brows they're not they're not my you know hard technical brows <laughs> okay so just adding color here and there that's it that's pretty much all I do with my brows when I'm trying to get out the door and um, what I'll do now is grab a little bit of my um, grab a little bit of my whatchamacallit of my mascara this was from Max Factor I've had it for years and it's still it's still some in here so I'll just grab it and um, comb out my my brows so they don't look all like out of place I do this and that's it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the palette that I'm gonna use and I'll be right back okay guys so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, contour my face and I'm just gonna do very little um, is this recording yeah it is okay so I'm gonna do a little bit of contour I'm just gonna use my NYC smooth skin bronzer in sunny from NYC yes I think I said that okay so just grabbing an angled brush like this and I'm going to put this on the hollows of my cheeks. Um, I contoured my nose just a bit. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like the way I look with my car my nose all contoured. It looks totally fake. <laughs> but I do it because I have a big ass nose. Um, okay, so I'm just contouring really fast. Just like so. I'm just trying to get out the dough, guys. That's it okay so just contouring like this and then I'm just gonna add a um, I'm gonna add a uh, blush just a little bit not too much I'm bringing it a little into my cheeks my contour just so I can give me like a give me some color to my face okay just like that okay now the blush that I'm gonna use I don't know let's see which one can I use let's see what do I have here I will use whatever I have here in front of me. Um, this is a Secret Blush by MAC. It's a nice little pinky um, shade with a little bit of sparkle, not too much. 
Oh, this fucking pimple is really annoying me. Why? Why do I freaking break out like I'm going through puberty again? I don't get it. Okay, so I'm just adding this um, on my cheeks, guys. Just like this. Nothing too fancy. Just, you know, give me some color. And um, settle. A little bit settle, you know, not too over the top. And um, adding it a little bit on the actual temples. A little bit on my nose and it just gives a really nice um, you know just a nice effect like to the to the brows to the brows to the cheeks <laughs> now I'm gonna add this uh, highlight which is a peach highlight that's what it's called and I'm gonna grab this Maxine mop brush really big one from Michaels that I got at Michaels and I'm just gonna add that on as my highlight here just to give me a nice little glow cheeky glow on both sides here like this and I'm just patting that on looks pretty okay hopefully next time when I do a video guys this little fucker will be gone excuse my language but that's how I feel about it <laughs> um, and just um, it won't be there anymore it won't be making an appearance anymore cause I'm gonna freaking sm smack it with something, something real quick watch Alright guys, so um, that's it for the face. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. I'm going to add my primer, my e.l.f. primer. Just a little bit so my shadows can last and my lids don't crease. Just like that. I'm going to put a little bit under the eye as well. Like this. Okay. Just, just you know, blending it in really well. Okay, so I'm going to go pretty natural today. I've been doing a lot of natural looks lately, but I mean, it's summer, guys. Come on, like, I am not even in the mood to put my hair down. I'm going to put it up in a bun, so just to, you know, just wanted to look a little decent before I hit the road, Jack. Okay, guys, so I'm going to see what I'm going to, I still haven't pulled out that palette yet. So I'm going to see what I'm going to, I'm going to use and I'll be right back. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, so I decided to use this little bedhead palette I got such a long time ago, and it's called Controversy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add that purple on my lid. I do want some color because I am going to be wearing some um, colorful earrings. So um, I'm going to go ahead with that purple. Just um, This is probably going to be the only color that I use. So it just doesn't look too over, you know, overdone. And I'm just going to add that to my lids. Very softly. I'm not going to go too, you know, overboard. And I'm going to take it all the way to the actual... Well, I'm actually going to just keep it on the lid right now, and I'm just going to um, add some on the actual crease with a crease brush. So I'm going to do that, like this. And I do, I am holding a mirror if you, if you guys haven't, you know, can't tell. I think you guys can, though. <laughs> okay, so that's the way it's looking. Adding this on this side as well. Okay, so um, for those that don't know, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I um, suffered Bell's palsy seven years ago, so yeah, this, I, um, I don't like to really feature it because it's, this is the side that I got paralyzed in, and um, I have talked about it in, woo, back in the day videos, I think like two years ago, I spoke about my Bell's palsy, but yeah guys, I mean, some of you say that I look kind of weird. Well, you know, the haters say stuff like that. I really don't address the haters because it's there's no point. But yeah, I suffered Bell's palsy and I do have a little bit of, you know, um, I'm still suffering a little bit of the, um, of what I, I went through, you know. I mean, I'm not completely 100% back and I don't think I ever will because it's been seven years. Um, but yeah, that's why I feature this, this side more than I do this side. So hopefully you guys understand. I, I mean... I do still have a little bit of synchronization on my face. Oh my god, I'm going into a total different <laughs> talk here. But um, this eye will look smaller than this one because of that. So even when I blow a kiss, you see how it does that? And this I still got a little, it's, the swelling never went down that, that great. It was worse, okay? So let me just tell you that. I'm not, I'm okay with the way I look now because I came back to normal my my mouth was way over here <laughs> and now it's like back to normal so um yeah and even if i do this 
you see how my eye like gets smaller so that's why guys I mean I'm not just try I, I mean I, I know I shouldn't just address it but it's it is what it is it happened I moved on it's it was an ex dramatic experience if you guys want me to do a video in relation to just Bell's palsy and what I went through and how I you know how I got better and how long it took me to get better like I can do that on a separate video if you guys like just let me know or like this video or just let me know in the comments below anywho um, I'm gonna add now I'm adding that color with the crease brush and I'm gonna bring it to the actual crease just like this and um yeah so this eye looks a little different guys i mean some people are just so rude you know they say like some really mean comments and i brush them off you know i don't care it doesn't matter to me because i know that i'm beautiful god made me that way god made me go through that i learned from it and yeah that's all i have to say about that so i'm just blending it in all the way into the crease and into the brow bone just to, just a little bit this is probably going to be the only color that I use yeah I think so just so it doesn't look too too dramatic because people are going to be like oh girl you're wearing purple eyeshadow in the middle of the day yes I am girl I love shadows so <laughs> I will wear it during the day but you know just kind of keep it simple I'm not wanting to do like this crazy over the top look right now I do like them guys trust me I like doing those crazy colors but I want to get out the door so anywho okay I'm talking too much um, now I'm gonna add um, the brow bone color and I'm gonna grab this little fluffy brush I'm actually gonna use the white the peach the pearly color that's in here and I'm going to oh shit that was a lot <laughs> okay I'm gonna add it to my highlight as my highlight I think I should say God, I can't talk, you guys. I swear, like, when I'm talking by myself, I feel like a nerd, so I tend to say, say a lot of dumb shit because I'm, like, alone talking to this camera. Um, but, yeah, so now I'm just adding that highlight and blending in that purple. Okay, just like this. This is a real super easy, easy look, you guys. It's not, like, too... Oh, my God, I always get a lot. Okay, and I'm just blending it in with the purple and listen you guys let me know what you guys think do you guys like me talking on my videos or do you guys like me to do the fast forward videos and just like listen to v music or do you guys want me to do both let me know guys because I want to be make sure that you guys are content with my videos and my tutorials so I want to know if you guys like these talking videos or if you guys um okay now I'm just adding more of that purple I'm not even telling you guys <laughs> with this flat shader brush and I'm um, just adding more color to the lid that's, that's all I'm doing just to make it look seamless and blendable so let me know guys I'm um, doing the same with the crease brush um, and just let me know what you guys want to you know if you guys like me to shut the fuck up <laughs> or if you guys want me to talk I mean it's really up to you guys let me know you guys be the judges okay because I want to make sure I give you guys, like I said, what you guys want to see. Why does that happen? Why every time, I, every time I blend it, I lose color on the lid? I don't like that. All right, so um, that looks pretty blended and to my liking. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my liner, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so all I did now was add um, liner. And the liner that I used on the top to do this cat wing... Um, this wing right here you can see that okay I used this one and this is the L'Oreal linear intense liner just did it on the top um I think putting on liner is pretty self-explanatory it's not that um not that hard but I use gel liner for my underwater line so it can last longer and the one I'm using is eye studio from Maybelline and it's the black one that they have I used that on the bottom and then I put on the same purple under the lash line um, just blend it out that's all I did to this this side and I'm just going to continue on and do the rest on the other side okay just like this and I'm just going to blend it and smudge it out that's all I'm doing and I think this is it with the look I'm just going to add some falsies I said I wanted a simple look <laughs> okay so that's it for the eyes guys I think that's it I'm just probably gonna you know 
fix it a little bit and whatnot. I'll come back with the final look. I'm just going to add falsies. Um, simple ones. I'm probably going to use these. I'm going to reuse these right here. These right here. I'm going to reuse those and then I will come back and show you guys the final look. Okay? I'll show you guys what I use on the lips and um, I'll be done with my entire look. I'll be right back. Final look. Um, I went ahead and added the lashes and the lashes that I used are these and they're the creme number 12s very simple look and um yeah this is the final result guys it's a very bright purple as you can see it's kind of smoky the good thing is that obviously you guys saw that i only used two colors so it is really pretty actually i'm lying no um when i was off of camera i thought the purple was mm, i don't know it wasn't to my liking it wasn't suiting my what i wanted so i wanted something a little bolder on the lid and i went ahead and grabbed this bad boy right here and this is bright indigo paint and um, I got this from Forever Glam and um, obviously I don't think she has her website anymore but you can get these from different manufacturers I mean it's Ladybird I guess but this is the color it's called Bright Indigo and it's a gorgeous color with a little bit of um, a lot I should say glitters but it doesn't really come off like that it just comes out with a hint of glitter on the on the lid and yeah I really do like it I hope you guys do as well um, so it was a total of three colors guys that's it um, I just incorporated this purple uh, ring to my look these earrings here and I'm just wearing a simple simple um, outfit and um, yeah that's it you guys for the lips what I'm using is I put a little bit of Revlon and this one's called just enough buff I'm looking behind my mirror guys so this one's called just enough buff and over that, I put um, this NYX color in Honey over it. It's really pretty. It looks really pretty. I like it because I wanted to keep the lips pretty neutral because um, a lot is going on in the eyes, as you can see. But I do think it's daytime approvable. I Approvable? Why do I say that? It's daytime. It's okay for the daytime. I like it. I'm going to rock it like this. Um, I do see that it looks very bright on the camera, but in person, it's not very bright. It's pretty subtle, so... But, um, yeah, that's the entire look, guys. I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me, guys. My hair, I just put it up in a ponytail and nothing special. Um, and just a little bit of a curl on the side. And that's it. Just on the, on the sides of my face to frame my face. And that's it, guys. Here's the look again. A purple smoky eye just for the daytime with a simple natural lip. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.